Hello, this is Andrew Perkins, and this is part 10 in creating a blog using the CakePHP framework. In this video, we'll learn how to set up CakePHP's uh, Cake console so that we can use its bake script. We'll just be setting up the Cake console in this video, and in the next one, we'll actually use the bake script to generate some code for us. This is a pretty complex topic. If you're not familiar with using a command line prompt or a terminal, if you're on a Mac, this may be hard for you to grasp at first, uh, but just stick with it and once you've used the command line prompt and CakePHP's console several times on your own, you'll find it to be quite helpful and it makes generating skeleton CakePHP apps with full CRUD features based on your current database design pretty easy and you can do all of it in a matter of minutes. Uh, there's a couple of different ways of using the CakePHP console, and the way I like to do it is by setting up a blank skeleton copy of Cake somewhere on your computer, and then including a including the path to its console folder in your environment variables. Uh, by doing this, it allows you to call the Cake command inside of your command line prompt from anywhere, and you can use CakePHP's bake inside of any of your CakePHP applications. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Somewhere on your computer, you're going to want to create a folder, and you can name it whatever you like. I created a folder called Cake, and it's inside of my C directory under my WAMP folder. WAMP is what holds my Apache, MySQL, and PHP. See, I created a folder here called Cake and I downloaded and unzipped the CakePHP framework into this folder. And this is just a regular PHP framework. I didn't do anything to it. And it's just going to sit here. I'm not going to modify it. It's simply going to be used to use uh, Bake in all of my other CakePHP applications. What you need to take note of is inside of the Cake folder, inside of the Console folder, this is what provides you the ability to use the cake and bake commands inside of your command line prompt. You'll need to take note of the file or the path to this folder. Mine's under CWAMP inside of cake, inside of another folder called cake, and then inside of console. So if you just copy this, you can right click and choose copy or control C, and you'll want to add this path into your uh, environment variables path. So to do that on Windows, you go to your Start menu and choose Control Panel, and choose System. At the top, choose the Advanced tab, and at the bottom, click the Environment Variables button. And here under the System Variables, if you scroll down a bit, you'll see a variable called Path, and you'll want to edit this. And at the very end of the variable value section, you simply put in a semicolon and paste in the path to that CakePHP installation's console folder. I've already done this, so I'm not going to paste it in here, but I'll show you where it's at on mine. Scroll back a bit here, and you'll see there's the semicolon from the last entry. And afterwards, it is the path to my CakePHP console. And it's the C directory under WAMP, under Cake, under Cake, under Console, and that's reflected as the same path here for that blank Cake PHP installation that I told you about. C WAMP, Cake, Cake, Console, and those are both the same, and it's uh, referring to this Cake Console folder so that we can use the Cake command in our command line prompt. So once you have that in there, just click OK. I'm going to click Cancel since I didn't change anything. And now you need to open up your command line prompt. On Windows, you can do this from the Start menu. Start, Run, and in here you can type in CMD, and that'll bring up a command line prompt window for you to use. I'm going to make it a bit bigger here. And now you can run the cake command from anywhere. You can type cake, hit enter, and it says welcome to the cake PHP console you get this message, it's working correctly. If you get an error, you probably did not enter the path uh, 
to your Kate console correctly inside of your environment variables. So you'll want to double check that and try again. Uh, the way that you use the Kate console's bake script inside of your Cake PHP application is just by changing directories into whichever Cake PHP application that you want to use and go inside of its app folder and then just run the cake command. So we're going to change directories here. Currently I'm in, I think, my documents. Uh, so I'm going to change directories into our tut blog and then into its app directory. Tut blog is the blog that we've been working on this whole time in the previous videos. It's inside of WAMP www, which is my web root, and I have the framework under tut blog. And what we're doing is inside of our command line prompt, we're really just going inside of this app folder. And that's what I specified here. Change directories to WAMP www tut blog app. And then once you're inside of your cake PHP framework, you can run the cake bake command. And there you go. You can now bake model views and controllers as well as other things for that cake PHP application for which you're inside of. So that's how you get cakes console up and running. I hope it all works out for you and you get it going. Uh, in the next video, we'll actually bake some model views and controllers for uh, generating our comments.